Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. We've all heard the tragic news of Jerry Godwa of the, of the Cadhuan First Nation community in northern Alberta, who died while supporting the fire suppression efforts in Red Lake, Ontario. On behalf of the people of Ontario, I would like to thank him for his services and express my heartfelt condolences <laughs> to his family. He will always be remembered as a hero. Can the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry provide this House with an update on how fire suppression efforts are progressing across Ontario? Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the member for the question. And, and I also would like to once again express our condolences, the government's condolences on Mr. Godwa's family. I think it's very important that we recognize the bravery and courage that uh, Mr. Godwa displayed in the name of providing for his family and protecting those areas for which he was deployed. I'd like to also express my appreciation to all the staff and volunteers who continue to do their part. To this date, we received support from our provincial partners as well as from the United States and Mexico. And we anticipate more fire rangers coming from Mexico and more equipment from our provincial partners. And we're also exploring an option that would allow retired rangers to come back on the job on a temporary basis to provide added assistance and uh, expertise. Again, Mr. Speaker, our top priority is safety of the public, protection of property, and safety of our emergency responders. Thank you. Supplementary. And uh, back to the minister, Speaker. I want to thank all the firefighters from Ontario, other provinces, the United States, and Mexico, who are working so hard to fight the many fire fires around northern Ontario. In particular, I want to thank those that are fighting Perry Sound 33 in the north end of my riding. I was pleased to join the minister and the premier in visiting the brave men and women fighting Perry Sound 33 on Friday. Can the minister share with this house and with the people of my riding what is being done to stop this and other fires? Minister, thank you again for that question. And yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, on Friday, the premier, the member from uh, Perry, Stone, Perry Sound, Muskoka, and myself visited uh, the uh, Brit Command Centre near Perry Sound uh, to visit those who are fighting the fires and to see the effects for ourselves. And we must say we are truly amazed at the dedication and, and professionalism of the command centre and those doing their part to keep Ontarians safe. Currently, the fire situation across northern and central Ontario is still active. This is because of warm temperatures, windy conditions, minimal precipitation and frequent thundering thunderstorms with plenty of lightning. We are actively monitoring the fire situation and fighting key fires from the air and on the ground. Our top priority, as I said earlier, is the safety of the public, protection of property and the safety of emergency responders. We are fully prepared and ready to protect the public Response. and our natural resources, and I've instructed my department to explore all options as how we continue to assist and dedicate resources to these fires.